Now we know how to use a for loop, let's just check we understand everything that's going to go on. So in this cell, we've defined my variable to start with a value of zero. We've then defined a for loop, and we've said for number in this list, which contains the numbers one, two, five, and nine, we're going to take my variable and set it to a new value, which is the existing value plus the number. So if we worked our way through the loop, the fir for the first loop, number will equal one. So my variable will be set to zero plus one. For the second loop, number will equal two. So my variable will be set, be set to one, which is what it was at the end of the last loop, plus two, which is the current number. And then for the third and fourth loop, it'll be the same. So let's just check that that's the case by printing my variable at the end of each loop. And if I run this cell, it's one, and then it's three, which is one plus two, and then it's eight, which is three plus five, and then it's 17, which is eight plus nine. 